Good morning, fam. It's your boy Black at you, back at you with another short video. This one's gonna be about this Waka Flocka drama. People getting upset with Waka because he say he ain't black. And most of them all here, you a sellout, you a coon, or something, read comments. Man, get off Waka shit. If he said that's what he is, he got proof that he's a, a Native American born here and he got some Italian, whatever else in him, so biff. Because a lot of you niggas don't know where y'all come from. Y'all talking shit about him. He, he got to be African because he got dark skin. I'm going to tell you like this here. This earth is billions of years old. Billions of years old. Where it's cold now, it was hot. Example, Antarctica is frozen now to the T-bone. But before, it was greenery there. So if it was greenery there, it means it was life. So therefore, people, animals and shit. Okay. So maybe people stem from out of Antarctica or some shit like that. They say Africa now because it's maybe thawed down because Africa was cold before, billions of years ago. All right? So maybe Africa was not where everyone stemmed from. But anyway, like he said, if you do your research about um, people that lived in America, the Indians, the so-called Indians, what they call Indians, white men call Indians, the original ones that occupied this territory were black. They were black. Look at Omex. You had people traveling from from Egypt to South America. And people was moving. People was migrating. If you look at King Tut tomb and all the tombs out there, they was finding cocaine in their system. There was no cocaine in no damn um, Egypt. So they had to go down to Medellin somewhere and get their get they packages and shit, you know? So people was moving. So if he wants to say that um, he's Native American, his grandmama Cherokee, he got some Italian there, they must know this. So who are you to tell them, oh, you black, are oh, you a nigga? This, that's a fucking a nigga um, answer. to come with some shit like that to call another black man nigga because he says he's from some other place and this is what he is. Like if you got brown skin... You must be African. You can't be like people that occupied the so-called now Australia. They were black. Come on now. People got to start waking up and um doing some research. Because most of these motherfuckers don't read no goddamn books. They do not. They talk this African-American shit. And I'm getting sick of all these motherfuckers talking this African-American shit. Riding around in all these goddamn nice-ass cars, rims and shit there. Taking vacations to fucking... um. To Cancun and shit, to Mexico and shit, but won't save up a goddamn enough money to go to the motherland, the shit that they claim the fucking most, but not want to go there and go see where they think they came from. If you ain't do that shit, I don't want to hear a goddamn thing from you about this African American shit, you know? Because if you say I'm African, what makes you African? Huh? That's why I ask motherfuckers. You African, what makes you African? The voyager named Africanus, he named that place Africa. So if you're fucking a seed from Africanus, the Voyager, then you're African, okay, motherfucker? Other than that, that's not even the name of the, of the content, the, the original name. So you can kick rocks with that bullshit, you know? All this kings and queens shit, too. I'm about to get on that shit there. You know, I was at work. There was this black young girl, you know? Some shit happened. So this black bitch pulled her. I'm going to call her black bitch because the way she did it. It was stupid. Made herself look stupid. She pulled the race card so quick. I was like, God damn. She pulled that race card fast. Talking about, mm -hmm. this shit should happen. I'm a black queen. Her two white colleagues, they, they, they wanted to say something. They looked at each other, didn't they? One looked at me. I just smiled. Because come on. All this king. I was a king. I was a queen. Look at here. Africa. So-called Africa now has kings and queens there. Right? Yes, they do. Okay, so you might have one king and queen for the whole tribe or wherever they come from. The rest are not kings and queens. So every one of us are not no kings and goddamn queens. A lot of you don't even act like no goddamn fucking humans to <laughs> tell the goddamn truth. But when shit come go down, I'm a queen. I'm a king. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save the bullshit. Motherfuckers, when you, when you talk negative about some shit, it's really that negative. Cause I speak the truth. Black Catcher brings the truth always to you. Always. I don't care. I don't, I'm not going to ward down a goddamn thing. But a lot of chumps, they'll come 
Oh, that's that's coonery, this and that. Everything I say, prove me wrong. You know, prove me the fuck wrong what I say. And then we can debate about it. Other than that, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Leave Waka Flocka alone. If he want to be goddamn um, Italian, Cherokee, and whatever he said that's in his blood, so be it. Because it must be his blood. He must got some background about it for him to even say it. And the young brother, you know, he say he read, he read books. You know, so oh yeah, a lot of what he said was true. You know, he said eight percent. The first thing the brother's like, where you get that number from? You should have that number if you read books about the African slave trade. But they talk billions and billions and billions, I mean millions and millions of slaves came from Africa. In that time, maybe we were looking from well fifteen hundreds to fucking eighteen the lower the lower latter part of um eighteen twenty, something like that when they stopped making shipments. Okay, now do your research. They must have boats big as a motherfucker running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They have all these slaves that come through. I don't believe it, especially for us in America. Like he said, a lot of Indians was here, was getting mixed up, mixed up with, with the slaves that came from Africa. And that's, that's the way it was. Every black person that's in America, you are not a fucking slave. So get off that slave shit always, you know. That black history money, y'all motherfuckers get all sentimental and shit, you know. Won't we'll watch some damn um, black movies, some Roots, some what else, some other shit, some Django and some bullshit, and act like that's your shit. If you believe that's your shit, and that's all you're, all you're about, then you's a dummy. You's a fucking real dummy. You's a slave-minded person. Your mind is not elevated to nothing. Because that's not our history. No, it's not. We come from... Millions and millions of years on this earth. So no, it's, you can handle kind of one specific point, I believe. Because like I said before, what is cold now was warm before. And if it's warm before then, that means it was water, oceans, and life. So if you can prove me wrong, please prove me wrong. But far as mess with Waka Flocka about what he says, my family Indians, they was Cherokees and this and that. Yes, a lot of you motherfuckers are, are, no, are all straight up black. Look at you. Y'all mixed, but y'all still kicking the um the black this, black that. Motherfucker, you liars and motherfucker. You beige the motherfucker. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. That's, and that's the truth about it. Some motherfuckers real light. Yellow. But they want to talk some shit like they pure goddamn black and black power this and black power that. No, motherfucker, you have mixed blood. A lot of people in America have mixed blood. And when they fucking realize that shit and stop trying to hide it and deny it, Maybe um they will feel a little better, maybe. You know? But like I say, if you want to know where you come from and things like that, if you have African blood, do a DNA test. Everybody has some kind of African blood because people they travel, migrate from other places. White people got, got um African DNA. So come on now. Let the man fucking breathe. Let him fucking rest and stop calling him all these stupid ass derogative names. Cause that's what's fucked up. When a black man has an opinion. Other black people want to put them down, shoot them down, call them coon, this and that. Just like the young man was on, um, there's some show, Queen's Flip, or some chump motherfucker got some vlog show. He asked the goddamn man what his preference is with women. He said he prefer Latinas. He said, take care, man, this and that. He gave his, um, his opinion on why he liked that. The black dude get mad or throw some shit at him because are you disrespecting the, the sisters. Why have a show asking man that got that question with his preferences? You gonna ask stupid like that? If I was that young dude, I would have fucked him up real bad for the disrespect and be throwing some shit on me. You know, fucked up shit. Motherfuckers gotta learn. Take care of your own. You wanna know about you? Read some goddamn books. Read books. Learn about yourself. Turn to African, African this, African that. Africanus was the voyager who named that place African and named people Africans. And they would come say, "Oh, we are three races." Who made that shit up? But the white man said we are three races. All oh, this Negroid, Caucasoid, and some Asian shit. Get the fuck out of here. The original black man. The original black man. The number one who banned the original. We are the original people of this damn earth. Okay, the originals. Everybody else is just fucking offsprings. There's no three races and shit like that. Three major races, what you want to call it? There's one race. The black race. Us. Y'all know could call it black, but whatever. Black, brown, fuck, I got melanin. Or uh, us. And the rest are just fucking offsprings. Get that shit in your head, peeps, and I'm out.